Hi, I'm Neil Zerker, and this is OneTankTrips.com. A drone, 21st century aviation technology. A far cry from what the Wright brothers had back in 1908 when they sold their first airplane to the United States government. In this hangar in nearby Miamisburg, a bit of American aviation history has been recreated. The first military aircraft that the Wright brothers sold after making the first flight nearly a decade earlier. It looked just like this one, a Wright Model B flyer. The chief pilot, retired Navy Commander John Warlick, wears the uniform of a U.S. Army Signal Corps second lieutenant. Warlick says that like the original flyer, this is a difficult plane to fly. So you can turn the wheel uh, if the wing drops, and then you have to wait a while before anything happens. So, uh, so it's, uh, I, I kind of compare it against uh, driving an old war and I tracked it across a plowed field. It, uh, For a donation of $125, they'll let you climb aboard the flyer, and they'll let you experience what early aviators must have felt and seen as their kite-like craft scurried down the runway, the twin chain-driven engines roaring, the frail fabric wings timidly lifting into the sky. The ride is a short one, but in that minute or so, you fly higher and farther than the Wright brothers did on their initial flight. By the way, the staff car used by the group is a Model T of the same vintage as the airplane. The Wright B Flyer hangar is open Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Admission to the hangar is free. A donation, as we said, of $125 is requested for a ride on the airplane. Reservations are also suggested to ensure that a pilot will be available. A ride into history, and it's just a one-tank trip away. So as you can see, they've come a long way since 1908, but you can still take a ride on that Wright B Flyer down at Miamisburg, Ohio. I'm Neil Zerker, and this is OneTankTrips.com.